guys, it's Holly, and welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast episode, I, I don't know, 29, 28, something like that. It's in the title, you guys. I never look before I start. That's not true. I looked last time. I didn't look this time. I'm a busy person. I don't have time to look. But anywho, um, so like I said, I'm Holly. This is the Proper Pineapple Podcast, which is a knitting and crochet podcast. I also do a little sewing. I've actually really been getting into sewing lately. Um, you can find me on Facebook at The Proper Pineapple, on Instagram at The Proper Pineapple. You can find me on Ravelry as Ms. Proper Pineapple. Um, and you can also find me on Love Crafts under Holly Miller. But there are links to all of those things down below in the description box. Also, there's a link to my website, which is where you can purchase patterns of mine. You can purchase shawl cuffs I make. You can purchase bags I make. You can also just send me messages through my email at The Proper Pineapple at Gmail. <sighs> okay, that's all that up boring stuff. You guys, I've actually been crocheting. Yay! I'm so excited. Well, I knitted a little too, but I've been actually crafting. Isn't that awesome? I finally got around to doing stuff. So first, let me show you projects that you already knew I was working on. So the first one is my flat iron shawl, which is in my uh, Mario bag by Kim from Chasing Acorns. You guys know I love Kim. Trixie, I'm not putting you on camera. You lick my face. I'm in my mom's like camper yard area because she has this pretty area and like her dog is looking at me like, oh, please pet me. All right, Trix, come here. Okay, don't knock the camera over. Oh, the camera, come here, Trix. Okay, okay. Look, this Trixie, she's, <laughs> she's so excited to see me. You're not on the wall. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Look at the camera, Trixie. Trixie, look at the camera. Oh, there we go. She's a sweetheart. Mm. This is my dog, Bella's baby. Is you, is you Bella's baby? Is you Bella's baby? <laughs> okay, go, go lick a kid. Go lick a kid. Go lick a kid. I don't know how well that's gonna work. She's not gonna stay gone. Anyways, you guys. So my flat iron shawl. Oh, uh, la, 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 la. I am using my, one of my furls, streamline hooks in their swirl. This is the, I want to say Andromeda colorway. It's really, really pretty and I love it. Love these hooks. You guys know I love a lot of hooks, right? Okay, so I finally, hallelujah. I cast this on on Christmas, you guys. So 2018, don't get too crazy. It wasn't 20, like 2017 or anything. But I finally striped in my third color. Okay, so first I started with this beautiful yellow, which was from Knit Picks, or not Knit Picks, but um, Knit Crate. It's called Banana and it's got cashmere in it. And I did this gorgeous color that I bought at Rhinebeck 2018. Uh, oh, a little dark there. There we go, lightened up. It's stunning. And then finally, look you guys. Oh my gosh, look at the fade of the two last colors. How amazing is that fade? That has to be my favorite color fade so far. Look at that. Stunning. So I only have like two or three stripes on the end there. So I just gotten into the third color, but I'm so excited. I love it. Look at that. I want to do the whole thing in micro stripes of just these two colors together because I think it looks stunning. What do you think, Mr. Pineapple? No. He's hanging out watching me podcast because I'm awesome and that's what happens. <laughs> no, it's just it's not much else to do around here. No, I'm so that's that. I am hoping to get that done soon. You guys know when I get it done, I will do a final or a finished object video for you guys. But that is my flat iron shawl. I'm gonna set it over there. Then I've been working on my birds of a feather, which is the knitting I've been doing. You guys, it's in this stunning. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, God. oh no, there's cat hair, dog hair. There's pet hair on my thing. There's hair on my back. I'm sorry, hold on. Let me dust it off a little. That's why you have pets, hair happens. Okay, so this is by Home Fire Ridge and it is this gorgeous feathers. Oh, it's so pretty. This bag is amazing. She gifted this to me for my birthday this year and I love it so much, which is why, and it was feathers. And so I put my birds of a feather shawl in it. It was too perfect, right? Okay, so I am using uh, this cake of holly bait from Iron Wheel Farms, which I love. And then another one from a, a mohair from Stitch Together Studios called Boho. Let me show you that mohair. Look at it. It's perfect for 
the holly bait, right? And I'm in a mohair section, but I'm about to be done with the mohair section and go into my first lace section. Because I've never knitted lace. That's ridiculous. So I'm not very far, you guys. But look at this. Look at how, I wish I could hold, I can't hold it. Look at how amazing the mohair goes with the um, holly bait. How amazing is this? Look at this, look at it up close. It's like, it in the mohair is so soft and fluffy and the holly bait I love so, so much. I cannot wait to get this one done, you guys. I think this is gonna be just amazing on me. Look at it, what do you think? Is it me, is it my colors? It's totally my colors. So I'm so in love. So I'm hoping to have more of that done to show you guys next time because I want to get past that first lace section. Oh, and I'm using my, um, what size are these? Y'all, I can't read this tiny writing. They're US 8, so they're a four millimeter. They're the Driftwood by Licky uh, Knitting Needles. My husband got me the entire set for my birthday present. He's such a sweetie pie. Love you, honey bunny. <laughs> it's right there, I told you that. So that is that. We set that over there. I don't want to throw it. I don't want to get dirty. So those are the two projects you've seen me working on. And I have started two new projects. They're tiny projects. but I was, So the first one, um, I had to do, okay, so I was using, it's two colors. It's actually for my baby blanket cal. You guys, if you don't know, I'm doing a baby blanket called, blah, 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 a baby blanket cal that's running from now until the end of November. And basically, you make a baby blanket, you donate it to a pregnancy center, you take some photos, you put it on Instagram, and you tag me and you tag um, hashtag uh, babies are blessings Cal and then you're entered to win some prizes which I still have to go shopping for so I was using a red heart gray that I had and I paired it with this mandala ombre in the color happy <laughs> look at this color you guys doesn't this color make you happy it makes me happy oh look I got all shadowy oh the lighting, okay, you know, try filming at a campground, you guys. The lighting just sucks. Okay, anywho. So I paired it with this, and it's actually a baby blanket of my own design. But I only made, it's okay, so it's a granny square. But it's not a traditional granny square. It's going to be really different. I am using my 4.5 millimeter furls. Again, another one of their streamlined swirls. This is the cookies and cream one. I love it. And, um... I made the first square and I don't like the gray with it. The gray is just not looking, so I need to go up to Joanne's and probably get some Lion Brand to go with it so it matches well. But basically, it's gonna be this really cool granny square blanket. And here's the first square, you guys. Isn't that fun? Look at that. But you guys see what the problem is, right? Okay, it got really shadowy. Ah, I hope it's gonna like fix, otherwise I'm gonna have to move. Okay, sorry guys, I had to move. That's my parents' camper behind us. You'll see kids running around. Um. Even though these were both worsted weight yarns, the Red Heart seems a lot thicker than this Ombre Mandala, so I'm gonna go and replace this gray because it's just, it's not working. And I don't really like it with this cool color anyway, so. But this pattern will be out soon for you guys. Um, so I hope you really enjoy it. It's gonna be really, really fun. Uh, the other project I've been working on, uh, there should be a paper, there should be a paper. So the hook I'm using is from um, Touche Crochet Hooks. It's this gorgeous rainbow one that I love. It is an eye, which I believe is a 5.5. And the color of the yarn I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver Stripes in the color Parrot Stripe. Um, and I decided to make a, uh, oh, it's a bee. Sorry guys, it's camping, bees everywhere, anywho. I wanted to make something to hang on the wall. I'd gotten this inspiration from um, Noble Character Crafts. She had done one and I loved it so I wanted to do it and put decorate my camper. So I've made it, it's not stretched out. So I'm gonna show you. So here it is, it's really, really pretty. I've gotta get an 18 inch embroidery hoop, which I probably won't be able to do until we get down to Texas, but I wanna get an 18 inch embroidery hoop and I'm gonna stretch it and get it on there. So, um, the middle, up until this yellow runs out, I was following a pattern by Red Heart called the Affinity Doily. So it's made with floss, and I did it with yarn, so I wanted to make it bigger. But after that, I wasn't really liking it, so I just, from this darker green out to the purple, improvised and did whatever I wanted to do, because it's got to hang on my wall. But I love it, you guys. Isn't this cute? So cute. So I've got to get the hoop. 
So the next time you see this, it'll be a finished object. It will be on a hoop and I will be getting ready to mount it to my wall. So I'm so excited about that. So I just got excited and started like doing crochet again. Cause you guys know I was in a slump and I wasn't doing anything. I might make more of these cause I really like the idea. Maybe not this one, maybe just kind of do whatever I want. I love the idea of hanging um, crochet all over the house. So like maybe I'll do something cute to decorate the house up. Oh, I just had an idea. I'm looking at Mr. Pineapple. He's so excited because he has stuff to make me now because I just had an idea. I have this area Which if you uh, watch everyday pineapples, which is our other channel look down below for a link uh, In a couple of days or maybe next week I don't remember exactly when but the tour of our camper will be coming out So follow that channel so that you know what it does. There's this area. I need something to hang and what if I did a rectangle one and obviously embroidery hoops don't come in rectangles so what if Mr. Pineapple built me a frame? Yeah. Look at me so oh excited, God. you guys. That's gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, I was looking for something else. Look at to this. Do. Listen, I love this yarn though. He was totally looking for another project to do. And I just helped him out. So that is all of my crochet that has been going on. Um, like I said, we're getting ready to leave for Texas soon. I'm super excited about that. My next podcast will probably be from Texas, so excitement um, I did get a, something in the mail and I wanted to show you guys a lovely lovely um, and I okay I do not have her name and I am so so sorry I hope I will put it here at the bottom of the screen but she is a she sells um, uh, LuLaRue okay I'm so sorry but I forgot her name and it's on my phone but my phone's in the house and um, this lovely lady she works for she sells LuLaRue which you guys know I've been in love with their, their Amelia dress I'm like, every time I find one, I buy one. Anyways, so she sent me a, I guess this doesn't have a name of what it is. It's the Irma top. And it. she thought of me, so she sent me one and she sent Al one. Al, it's in the mail on the way to you right now. It's this lovely top, look, and it's got pineapples on it. Okay, the wind is like so not wanting to work with me. Look at this, the pineapples are so cute, cute. She sent one for me and one for Al. She did send me, mine's kind of big, it's a 2X, so it's like two of me fits in there, but I'm just gonna, as much as I'd like to just wear it out, it's a little too big. So I'm gonna wear it as like a pajama, I guess, because it's really big, but it's so cute. And thank you so much for sending it to me. I love it, and I hope Al loves hers. <laughs> so um, she does do, um, I believe it's, I, I will have the link down below, hopefully to her Facebook page. I know it was a little hard to find, but I think I can find it. So I'll have that link down below. Thank you so, so much. Again, her name was on the screen just a little bit back. Thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry I forgot your name, but it's on my phone and I like left my phone at the house. So that was that. Um, yesterday I had a shop update and hopefully you guys got the alerts for that. If not, I'm telling you now, I had a shop update with, um, you guys wanted more Harry Potter bags and more Scrappy Halloween and Scrappy Harry Potter. So that's kind of what was in the update. I also did a bunch of new shawl cuffs. I'm wearing one and if you can't see it, I'm about to show it to you. I found for my best friend's birthday, Al's birthday, a special shawl cuff. Well, a special belt I made into shawl cuffs. And it's got, look guys, get really close. Yep, nope, don't adjust your camera. Those are cat's butts. In your face, cat butts. <laughs> and they also had llamas. And my personal favorite, flying pigs. So uh, let's let the camera readjust to my face again. There I am. So there is a limited number of cat butts, llamas, and flying pig shawl cuffs in the store right now so if you really want these you guys got to get a hold of them now i love it look it's on my shawl and it's like flying pigs you guys know i love flying pigs so um and there's other shawl cuffs too i up i got more of the glitter ones i had because those sold out really quick i have some browns and some blacks i have one with like embroidery on it it's stunning so um go check that out you guys i limited quantities of everything so go check them out then I also did, um, we did bags, so I'm going to show those to you really quick here. Let me get them out. I had a pile of them. So I'll show you the ones that aren't the scrappy first. 
I did, okay, I fell in love with this Marauder's Map, you guys. Isn't that cute? And on the inside, it's just got like little text. So, so cute. So we have that bag. I'm gonna skip the scrappies. Uh, you guys had really fallen in love with this blue Harry Potter, so I got more of that. I also got some, it's got like, it's got the Transfiguration Daily inside of it this time. Because they were out of the other stuff. And the other Harry Potter fabric we got was this Quidditch. I love this one. So cute. And then on the inside, it's got a whole little like newspaper thingy all about Quidditch. Which I totally love. And then it's not Harry Potter. But it's close. I love it. And I know some people probably won't, but I love it. It is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. You got all the little people. And then I kind of love the inside, you guys. It has this gold fantastic, oops, it's not showing very well. You know what, I'm gonna turn it inside out because my bags are completely reversible. So if you prefer this side, which is the side I prefer, you can wear it that way or use it that way. So I have those bags in the store. And then I had made this special for Al. So this is already in the mail to Al. But look, kitty cats, look, 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 there's this little black one and this little, this little orange one. Oh. They're so cute. And on the inside, this is blue, checkery. Love the kitty bags. That's a limited number two. And then we made a couple of scrappy Harry Potter bags. So here's one to show you. These are like extra large. They're quite large. And then the back of it, they're all these little scraps of different Harry Pottery fabrics. And each one's different. Each one's different. And it's got this, this fabric here. Mr. Pineapple picked it out. It's kind of expensive. It's got this blue kind of smoke fabric is that picking up I can't tell yes there we go look at that fabric you guys I would buy this bag just for the inside fabric I don't even care about the outside the inside is stunning so we've got a couple of those and then we did some scrappy Halloween which I absolutely adore look look at this one look at, this one's my favorite look at the bugs I want to make a bag out of just the bugs you guys so cute but it got like that and then we'll turn it around it's got some other stuff on it and then on the inside, I went with candy corns because I could not buy candy corn fabric. So I know that was really quick, but I was trying to keep this video short. So the store does have an update. Please go check it out if you didn't get Harry Potter bags before. Hopefully you got them this time. Oh, and get these shawl cuffs. They're so cute. And these ones are made of, um, these are made of a rubber. So they're really bendy and flexy and they're gonna last a really long time. They're really great and they're so cute. Look at the flying pigs again, you guys. Oh, come on, focus camera. There we go. Look at the flying pigs. Aren't they the cutest? I'm gonna die. Cute flying pigs. Okay, guys. And I should let you know that all of the sales that I'm making right now are going to help with the move. The, um, the finances for the move and getting into Texas and getting all set up. It's all going to help that. So anybody who purchases from this lot, thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. You are being a huge help. Um, and you know what guys, I gotta get out of here, but next time you see me in a podcast, I'll probably be in Texas. So super excited about that. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later.